week. This time last night, we brought you part one of our story on the shortage of referees for youth sports in Western New York. Now, the focus there was football, but as we know, Buffalo is also a hockey town. Well, tonight, Two on Your Side's Lauren Hall looks at why a shortage of refs on the ice could put the sport in jeopardy at the youth level. We've all seen the videos online of parents behaving badly in the stands at their kids' hockey games, getting aggressive with the referees when they don't like a call. We had one the other day where they called the police. Coach went berserk and the, and the parents were going crazy. Gary Cutler is in charge of referees for the Western District of the New York State Amateur Hockey Association. He didn't want to go on camera for this story, but he did want to discuss how recent verbal abuse is leading to a loss of officials in his organization. They had 470 for the 2016-2017 season. This year, they're down to 407. Almost half of the new referees every year don't come back for year two. It's just a normal reaction for people to scream and yell. I get it. But when you're dealing with young kids, you're just driving them away. Aggression, watching violence, we know that that's one way that youth learn those behaviors. We wanted to know what kind of impression this behavior from parents and coaches can have on the kids who are playing the games. So we went to child psychologist Claire Cameron from UB. One negative effect is youth feeling embarrassed and ashamed because all of a sudden, you know, attention is drawn to them and not for a good reason. Cutler says his main tool to combat the abuse is to empower referees to eject anyone who's acting problematic. Once a player or a coach or a fan crosses that line, remove them from the game. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Our parenting expert had some advice about other ways families can help create a more respectful atmosphere, starting with the way they talk about these tense situations. Is it really true that one point or one goal or one game, is that going to make or break your child's future? And the answer is probably not. Cutler says if he could give parents one message on behalf of the referees, it's that they're not the enemy. We're learning too, and we want your kids to have a great experience playing the sport. If we have a lack of officials because of whatever reason, your kids aren't going to be able to enjoy it. And you know, there goes the sport. Cutler says another part of the problem is that many first year referees are still teenagers themselves, which makes the accusations of verbal abuse even more troubling. You can learn more about that part of the story and catch up on part one of our series all right now on WGRZ.com. Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.